Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. My name is Helen and I absolutely love everything and all things that smell good and make you feel good. So I'm excited about today's video actually. I'm gonna try to go through these fragrances as fast as I can because I actually have nine to share with you all and a bonus um, limited edition fragrance that I'm obsessed with. Okay, so if you are familiar with Ganache, then you are familiar with JC who was the perfumer behind those fragrances those beautiful gourmand you can taste them as soon as you spray them <laughs> fragrances well he is no longer from, uh, affiliated with that fragrance line so he opened up a new fragrance line kai fragrances and i can't wait to share the fragrances with you all so i received my package on day before yesterday so i ended up putting my fragrances in a refrigerator for a little bit because i'm in a hot climate and what I ended up doing was, so this is going to be like a, not really a first impression because I've sprayed them twice now and we'll get into that in a minute, but this is not a full wear kind of thing. This is just me talking about it, the fragrance company, the fragrance line, what I think about it so far, and um, just sharing my excitement, okay? We're in Texas, got my box. I just immediately put everything in the refrigerator just to cool it down. He has fragrances that he makes with no preservatives. So a lot of times when you get these type of fragrances, you kind of want them to sit just for a little bit or spray them out just a little bit before you begin to test these fragrances. The one thing I've learned about JC's fragrances is that what you smell on paper is not what you're gonna smell on skin. And with this new line of fragrances that he has created, these are like magical fragrances, okay? So what you smell in the beginning, your first two, three minutes, it's not what you smell at five minutes, and it's not what you smell at 15, 20 minutes, okay? Some of these fragrances do trips. I was like, I'm just waiting to see what it's gonna smell like. Let's just get started, and as we go through the fragrances, I can kind of tell you which ones I felt like, okay, yeah, you cannot put this on paper. You have to put this on skin, and you have to get through this to get to that, right? He did a live with Lulu and they discussed some of the fragrances. I had already opened my box. I had already sprayed them all. I actually made a ton of notes. Each one I sprayed, I actually wrote notes on them to say like how I kind of felt initially when I first sprayed them. And then I sprayed like five on skin. Just let them sit for a while. And then I had some more thoughts on them. Woke up this morning after showering, I did it again with four more fragrances just to see what I felt like them on my skin and how they developed on me. Okay, so let's just get started. I'm so excited about this. <laughs> All right, so it is Kai Fragrances and his logo is the, the little circle thing that goes in the middle of a 45 on a record player. So this is gonna be pretty cool. This is like your 90s hits. This is like memories for me. This is like um, your old school mixed with the new school because these fragrances don't smell old at all. They smell like, I've never smelled anything like this before. So this is not gonna be a gourmand type of fragrance. These are not gonna smell like, well one does, kind of, sorta. They're not gonna smell like candy and cookies and cakes and whatever. These are perfumery fragrances. These are your really nice, beautiful niche, well blended, very unique fragrances. Now from my understanding, I do not have one that's in the Discovery set. I'll put the Discovery set here. So you can see the full packaging and what it looks like. I'm missing the one that is a more winter fragrance. It has like tobacco, I believe he said, and honey and something else. And I think a oud. So I don't have that one. I will probably just purchase it. There are, there are at least three fragrances in this line that I will be purchasing full packaging on. So from my understanding, if you purchase a discovery set from this line, you will get the fragrances in, you can smell the fragrances, enjoy the fragrances. There are a set amount of fragrances on the website. Those, we those fragrances that are available on the website, you can just order, right? Have them shipped directly to you. However, if there are, if there is a fragrance within a discovery set that is not listed on the site, you can contact their customer service, JC, and just ask him for a full bottle of this said fragrance because really this is an introduction to this fragrance line. So the packaging I'm gonna show you is not the final packaging. It's actually gonna be like a matte black bottle. I don't know if I can show that to you or not, if I can figure out how to, I will, but this is not the packaging. This is more of a PR type of thing. He wants to be able to show the difference in PR packaging and like regular purchase packaging so there's no confusion later on within, you know, in the game, okay? 
So there are at least three fragrances. I will be full packaging purchasing. So it's called the 90s Mixtape Discovery Set. All right, so they have like bonus tracks. Oh, this is so cool. So basically each fragrance is named after a 90s song. So I would start with expression, but that's the one I do not have. So we're gonna go ahead and express yourself. <laughs> that's salt and pepper. <laughs> First one we're gonna discuss is don't go. So once again, this is just PR packaging. Your package won't look like this if you actually purchase a full size bottle. They're beautiful square matte black bottles, very sexy, okay? So this is inspired by the Invo hit Don't Go. This intoxicating fragrance will give you a reason to stay. So the notes are bergamot orange, zest Bulgarian, lavender, fresh mint, guag wood, sea, sage leaf. It's a lot going up in here. It is sauna, smoke accord, balsam, geranium. It's a lot going on. I'm gonna put the notes on the screen. So I'm just gonna spray these in the air just to familiarize myself with the fragrance. But um, so this one right here, I get a lot of lavender. I get some mint, some florals. Even though it has guai wood in here, it just makes it like a little bit heavier and probably adds some more depth to the fragrance. It just smells really good. Like lavender's listed twice. Mint is here, but mint doesn't stay. So it's not that masculine mint that you would get in men's fragrances. It almost makes it clean, like clean. And oh, this just smells really good to me. I believe it's unisex for me. For women who like lavender, for men who like lavender, even though we find those notes, lavender, mint, geranium, men's side of fragrances, this smells really good and almost like spa-like, almost like therapeutic. Yeah, I like it. I love this one. This is a good one. I thoroughly enjoyed this one. I think men and women would enjoy it. Women who like the spa-like type of scents and men who like those more clean, almost like lavender green scents with a hint of spice from like the nutmeg. So. I like it. I don't get like a skank oud or anything like that. Very beautiful wearable fragrance. Next one is called Baby, which is inspired by Brandy, Brandy, her song, okay? And it says it is a fragrance that screams come closer. So it opens with white floral accord. It has a white rose. It also has like lemon leaf, white pepper, mint, spritz, amber musk. There's a lot going on. So it's very clean. When you first spray this, it's very sharp, like like lemon, like very sharp and zesty and very bright. But the lemon is more like, um, almost like zest instead of like squeeze lemon. Like it's sharp, it's there and it's, it's there for a while. It starts to mellow down later and it becomes this beautiful white rose powdery scent. It almost smells like a fresh white rose that it's so soft, it can crumble to white powder, if that makes sense. It just smells really good and like Close Encounter, very feminine, very girl next door, very clean, very, very refined. It smells really good. Like right here in the air, it smells really good. On skin, it took me a while to go from that sharp, that sharpness of like lemon. It's really sharp. Like as soon as you spray it, sharp. It's not as sharp as it was yesterday because I've sprayed it like three times since you could tell. <laughs> Ooh, but it's so good and so feminine and so beautiful. It's definitely very feminine to me, leaning fragrance. It is clean, and but when it dries down to this beautiful powder, it just smells like, I'm like a baby, but you know, come here, baby. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all Netflix and chilling. You laying on his lap while you're watching TV. This smells really like, yeah, really good. But it's beautiful and it's like understated and soft and elegant. It's really good. I think a lot of women would really enjoy this fragrance. I think that, um, I don't think there's someone who probably would not. Like if you like rose, you would probably like this fragrance. If you're not a huge fan of the red Bulgarian and all those other heavy deep roses, but you appreciate the soft florals, you would love this. This is good. So the next 90s fragrance is called The Lost Ones. It's actually called Lost Ones. And it is inspired by Lauren and the album that was the soundtrack of the summer of 1998. The fragrance is fun, sophisticated, and sexy. So it's pretty much like fresh cut lemon, green tea. It has a lime leaf, magnolia blossom, patchouli, and white musk. So for this one, for this one, that lime is strong. So just imagine like, 
Ooh, it's lime though. It's lime, like almost like essential oil lime, but not really. It's bright. It's like the. It's just the top though. It's very strong at the top. Extremely strong. Almost like household cleaner, pledge lime, and lemon like that. And but it doesn't last for like two, three minutes. So whatever it is at the top kind of settles throughout the fragrance and it kind of mingles in and when the magnolia come through. Okay, so this is the one yesterday that I sprayed and I kept saying, I wonder how strong the patchouli is gonna be. I never really got patchouli. I got like this beautiful zesty, bright magnolia fragrance. It was very pretty, it's definitely feminine for me. It is another one of those clean girl scents, another one of those pretty girl fragrances. And I could definitely see summer and spring. Now, the one thing about these fragrances, I could say this so far, you don't have to spray a lot. <laughs> you're going to get your two, three sprays free and you're going to be good. So if you want the 15, 20 sprays, good luck. Good luck. Yeah. Okay. So, yes, it comes through very clean and almost like a, a creaminess to it. A, a, not buttery, but more creamy with a little hint of zest at the top. This is a beautiful floral fragrance. Not loud on the patchouli. I will be trying to wear this full wear immediately because of the temperatures. I feel like I can wear this around now. Oh, it just smells really good, like clean. And it smells white, like magnolia, creamy with zest or something. It's very beautiful. I like this. Now, this is my jam. No ordinary love. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so this one right here, no ordinary love, of course, is inspired by who, who other than... Sade, okay? She still look good. Like, that's gold. She is gold. Body, skin, she's gold. And beautiful, captivating, and haunting. Because her voice is, ooh, butter smooth. All right, so it has mandarin orange, tangerine orange, blossom, neroli, and agalong, and a clean musk cord. So, for the orange blossom lovers, this, this is it. This is it. This is orange blossom like on steroids, but it's beautifully done. It's not sticky and like honey. It's, it's more bright and fresh and clean and that light must to it. Even though it has a, it's, 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 it's loud. You can't spray a lot of this. <laughs> Ooh, when I first spray it, it's like a burst of like sunshine. It's very orange and very bright, very bright. Like the flower, the freaking juice dripping from the orange, like it's everything. This is so good. There is another orange I have in my collection that's similar to this, but it doesn't last long. It's one of those, that girl on like the uh, Aqua Allegorium, but it goes a whole different way. It's more watering cologne-like. This is more perfumey, more, a little heavier. It's definitely sweet and musky. It's like orange blossom, your long along and musk. This is really good. Very feminine, very like sexy feminine. <laughs> Like, it's very alluring. I can see someone wanting to smell you over and over because it's very, like, addicting. That thickness of your long along with that bright and juiciness of orange blossom and the musk just carries it. This is so good. I really like this. Oh, listen, baby is so beautiful and so feminine. As soon as you get the, if you decide to get the discovery set, I would love to hear your thoughts. I would love to hear your top like two or three. And especially what you think about like baby, no ordinary love. And there's two more on here. I want to know your thoughts on, but no ordinary love is definitely an orange blossoms dream. Not your uh, Julia has gum must, your Narciso must. This is like your feminine, more softer area, lighter touch of must. It's not dense with musk. Very good. So excited about this. I've been waiting for something from him. Even though I'm obsessed with the coffee from the Kofi line, y'all know that's like my, but I can appreciate where he's going with this fragrance line. Like everything smells different and everything has a different feel to it and it, it just feels good. I love it. All right, so the next one we're gonna discuss is really into you all right so really into you once again it won't come in a bottle like this these are just the pr bottles all right so really into you is it says just like the song um by around the way this fragrance is fun 
lighthearted and enticing. And it has orange blossom, <laughs> marshmallow, neroli. It has warm amber, benzoin, tonka bean, sandalwood, and vanilla. This is not. This is not your killing and <laughs> love. Don't be shy, ma'am. This is not. This is a beautiful orange blossom, vanilla, benzoin, marshmallow scent. That marshmallow is sticky. It's sticky, but it's good and it's sexy. It's like, um, oh my God, how do I want to say this? I have to be appropriate. Um, oh, when I first spray it, it's so good. It's that vanilla, orange blossom, and marshmallow. It's like it's edible. This is what I mean when I was saying some of these, uh, there's only a few that's really gourmand. This is so like, sound of wood in here, it's like the base for me, right? It's kind of, it's woody, but it's very creamy. And it's what houses everything. It's like a scooter board, friend. <laughs> you got your orange blossom, your little cute little bowl of marshmallows. Oh, you got your vanilla, like almost like vanilla bean. And this is so good. I, I barely get hints of neroli. Neroli's in here, but I barely get hints of neroli. It just gives it like a little sharpness to it. So it doesn't go into the deep, dark, sexy, syrupy part of orange blossom and marshmallow. It's more fun and sticky and playful and more bright. It's very bright. Um, when I first smelled it, I thought it smelled like it had like orange blossom, marshmallow, lavender. It smelled like that to me. Like, I don't know how to describe it, but it's so good. Almost something like herbaceous, maybe even like sage, but it's not. But the sandalwood in here is so good. The sandalwood is good. If you've been looking for a real marshmallow, ma'am, sir, here it is. I don't know. This is really good. Really into, I want to, this is one of the ones. I'm definitely getting a full, I want the whole presentation. I want the white box. I want the bottle. I want the little, I want all of it. The little thing going between the record. Yeah, I want all of it. This I will be ordering. That is number one on my list to order. <laughs> the next one we're going to talk about is Don't Explain. This is called Don't Explain. It's inspired by legendary Billie Holiday. The fragrance is my interpretation of Lady Day's beauty, talent, and celebrity status combined with the heartbreak of living in a country that couldn't love her back. First of all, <laughs> this is one of the most sexiest fragrances I have ever smelled. This has gardenia absolute, dark narcissus, jasmine, tuberose, vanilla bean. It has blue moon wishes, melon, moonshine, cigar smoke, and vintage musk. So when you first spray it, you're gonna, it's a weird note when it first come out. I can spray this on me because this is good. This is so good. For this fragrance, you need to spray, wait like two or three minutes and then smell. So the tuberose and gardenia, everything just start coming through. Gardenia Absolute is not your regular gardenia like oil, perfume oil. It's, it's strong. It is like, I'm a punch in your face strong. Once that mellows out a little bit after the first two minutes, that tuberose come through and all the everything else, every element of the fragrance comes through and over time it changes. I want to say until like 10 minutes later, it's like sexy AF. Like this is the one of the most sexiest fragrances I've ever smelled. It is gardenia. It is jasmine. It is a little cigarette smoke. It is, it's her singing at a smoke filled club. <laughs> And then going home, <laughs> ma'am, getting her love on. This is like sex and flowers. This is so sexy. Like, this is sexy. This like, <laughs> this is not the brunch show date. This is not day date appropriate. This is not brunch appropriate. You're not just wearing this to walk the streets <laughs> all willy nilly shopping in, at the outlet mall. This is full of intention. This bottle, this juice is full of intention and it's, it has intentions for all night <laughs> and it lasts all night. Like you wake up the next morning, it's throwing your body. Um, we'll talk about that another day. I'm aware, full wear. We're going to talk about another, but this is, will be full bottle, full bottle. Oh. <laughs> First of all, Maybe round of applause. I, I don't know what to say. So let's get into Love is a Dreamer, which is inspired by the icon iconic Josephine Baker. 
Okay, so this is ripe banana, green leaves, tuberose, coconut, cantaloupe, vintage French musk. Okay, this is a sexy banana. This is a sexy banana in tuberose. This is so good. This, oh my goodness. When you spray it out, when you smell out the nozzle, it might smell like um, oud or something. It's a re really weird scent out the nozzle. And then it goes into something else. Oh, so it is banana, like like banana. That sweet, mouth-watering, almost Laffy Taffy banana with that bubblegum tuberose. I have never smelled nothing like this. Oh, but it's perfumey. It's not candy. It's, it's perfume. It has, oh, yeah, this is really good. The first few minutes, is it does something. It just makes my nose tingle, almost give me like goosebumps, and then I just wait a while. So this is when I wore this morning, and I was like, oh my goodness, how many times is this perfume gonna change on me? Yeah, so that that dirty smell, um, when you first spray it, I don't know if that's like vintage musk or what that is, but it's like a, like the dirty leaf of a banana, um, banana leaf like the tree. But that banana, the buttery tuberose, and the musk. Oh, oh this is this is there. I don't have anything like this. So you would have to like that vintage like style, like musk smell, like an old bottle smell. It's, it fades away later, but you would have to like it because you have to endure it for a little while, and you would have to enjoy the butteriness and that's It's like a it's like a bubblegum tuberose when it first hits you but then it kind of dials down a little bit to a beautiful sexy alluring tuberose with banana and a deep musk this is like a grown woman's playing field <laughs> okay yeah i don't know he put sex in like three bottles over here three different ways three different positions i don't know what was going on Raspberry Beret, the kind you find <laughs> what? at the second hand store. Okay, so Raspberry Beret, it's the first one I sprayed yesterday. I couldn't wait. I took it out the refrigerator. I was like, <gasps> okay. When I first sprayed it, I immediately get Raspberry Laffy Taffy. Immediately. It doesn't last long, but I mean, that's how raspberry this is. This is so raspberry that if you spray it and overspray, it might become too much. Like, I feel like all of his fragrances are very concentrated. None of his fragrances, maybe like Baby, even still, that's like, you can't spray too much of that either. But there is, I would say each one of them, yeah, you just cannot overspray these. You cannot overspray these. And I am a huge overspray, but you do not see me playing with this tonight. Ain't no way. So, Raspberry Beret. When I first bit Laffy Taffy. <laughs> oh my God, it is pink Laffy Taffy Raspberry. But it goes away in about a few minutes and then it comes into like, it has like this, mm, I'm gonna let it dry down. I'm gonna let it dry down because I can't really describe it right now. It's really good. It's, it's edible gourmand in the beginning, but it becomes something like, so he described it as if like, I'm, I'm gonna re, I'm gonna reword his words. I'm gonna say how I feel he was trying to describe it and kind of what I get. So it reminds me of a chick who would, who dressed different. She's not like this. I see her big hair with this fro and curly popping pink bubble gum. And she's got this cute outfit on, it's different, it's funky, with the chunky boots. And she's standing at a record store, and she's looking at the older records, but she smells like raspberry, like gum, with the fragrance lingering around her of like old records. I cannot, that's all I can say. And this is good. I've never smelled anything like this. This is like, I don't even know how he came up with this. <laughs> When I smelled this, I was like, are you kidding me? What is this? Which I'm probably going to have to get a bottle because the girls like this one too. And it's weird. It's just, we, but coming from someone who's thrifted for years, my uh, vlog channel at one time was all thrifting. 
So it has that to me. Not this old stank smell, but a little hint of something like vintage records. I can't do two wrappers. I just cannot. Oh my God. This is good. This is good. Raspberry Beret inspired by your boy, Prince. All right. So the last but not least, the fragrance, the exclusive fragrance that he has on his site that is for a limited time only. He actually hand painted these bottles and... I think it's called summertime. Let me go ahead and pull up, see if I can pull up the notes for you all. This is just so nostalgic for me. I'm probably gonna have to put some pictures up of the bottle, but it's a very beautiful hand painted bottle. You can actually feel the, the paint on the bottle, but it's a really nice, really heavy bottle too. So this is summertime. It is inspired by Will Smith's 1991 fragrance. Summer, summer, summertime. This is beautiful. When I first sprayed this, I just immediately got all things tropical. I kept saying, is that mango? What is it? It was so mouth watering, so beautiful. He said, you can definitely overspray this one. So this one right here is perfect for the days when you need a little escape. It has, let's see what it has in here. It has a scent of coconut milk. It has messiah, bark, lime blossom, gardenia, tuberose, white musk, and amber, ambergris. It said, we'll whisk you away to the beach day you've been dreaming of. Now, ma'am, ma'am, this is not your watery coconut. This is not your, like, beach walk. Like, this is, oh, this is very tropical. Very, like, mm, this is definitely a vacation, but this is fun. This is, like, like Lulu said, like Miami. Like, hot summer nights fun. Like, night beach. Like, tropical yeah this is so this is sexy this is like for me it's um tropical all the fruits like of the melons and fruits and and the tuberose and hints of little white flowers and it has sweat <laughs> in it so that's why i think of like hot summer night sexy bodies and two-piece bathing suits you know moving their body to the music as they hang out on the beach at night this is sexy it's not your everyday this ain't your little girl's beach scent. This is not, you know, this is so good. So I'm gonna go through the ones for sure that I know I would get a full size bottle of. Yeah. Love is a dreamer, definitely full size packaging, all the things I need her. I, I need this fragrance, I, I, I need that. Even though I have this bottle and I keep saying that, oh, let me tell you, baby is so good. It's this powdery aspect to it. It's so beautiful. I definitely want the full packaging of baby. I thought about it. Raspberry beret. <laughs> this is, I don't care. Yeah, this is, uh, this is, this, it's kind of like me. It's, it's kind of me. It reminds me of the older me or something, the more fun, hipper, you know, take more risk me. So, yeah, Prince, he took a lot of risks, right? Yeah, Raspberry Beret. Um, I would say, yeah, it's hard. I like them all, but I love these. So this is Don't Explain. Yeah, this, I'm telling you, this is the sexiest freaking fragrance. This is so sexy. This is, this is the sex in the bottle. I'm telling you. All right, that's the lineup of the fragrances for his discovery set. Like I said, I don't have them all, but these are the ones he sent me. And I'm just thoroughly shocked. I'm just enjoying them all. There's only like one or two where I'm like, well, I don't have to have them. If you've been around a while, you know, I'm very visual when it comes to like reading books, smelling fragrances. Uh, I like to actually experience the scent and it always brings either a memory or a visual for me. And that's kind of like how I explain fragrances. Even though I can smell the notes and I understand <laughs> some of the notes. He always wants to be on camera, like, what? Anyway, so if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. I absolutely love fragrances. I've always loved fragrances, and I'm quite honest and sometimes brutal with fragrances. I just, you know, but it's how I feel about something, which doesn't mean that someone else will feel di different about the fragrance, because we all know we could say it together. Fragrances are subjective, so we all have our different take on fragrances and how we experience them. And I often spray to feel. I don't spray just to smell good. I spray to feel. And my wear, my daily wear, I wear, I wear fragrances based on how I feel. At night, how I feel. 
day how it feels. I can tell you, baby will be born probably every night. That fragrance is so good and comforting. But the sexy, alluring fragrance, I can see how I keep remembering that. Girl, Raspberry Beret. Like, this, they're, these are good. These are good. Kudos to JC because you did that. I mean, I mean, we didn't even know about it. I mean, you just kept this under wraps and you just came out and was like, hey, I got a new fragrance on. And I'm just like, what? How? When? When did you work on this? I'm just so proud of him. I just feel like it's like my stepbrother. And you know, the person you bother who does something really well, you want them to always do it because you can't do it yourself kind of thing. That's why I feel like I feel like calling him and saying, hey, can you make me <laughs> X, Y, Z? I feel like he just took like a lot of fragrances that I've never smelled any of this. This is so crazy how with so many fragrances in the world and I can say it doesn't smell like, it does not have this. It is. It goes this way instead of, it is crazy how he's able to do this, but I'm enjoying this. I, this is, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna say this is my favorite like line of him of ever because I can't wear the coffee line every day. It's very heavy and it's sweet and sexy. And I, when I wear it, people are like, where's the where's the cappuccino? Where where's the caramel macchiato? This this one is something for everything. It's something for everybody. It is there's no, there's no way somebody would get this package and not experience something that they can feel or enjoy or and live with, right? Whereas I understand the Kofi line was very unique in this niche of era of fragrance, the scents. Ganache was more gamon. Everybody wanted to smell edible. This is perfumery and this is beautiful. So get a discovery set. I'm gonna say it over and over for you to get your discovery set. Sniff, sniff and see, sniff and see. If you feeling like a frog, you wanna jump, you better get some time because once those bottles are gone, I think he only made a few of those of the hand painted bottles for uh, the experience. All right, I'm out. I hope you have an amazing day. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you like this video. I know it's an extremely long one. I just want to touch bases in all the fragrances and give you what I felt in my experience in the fragrance. And as I wear these fragrances, I'll definitely come back and share my thoughts with you on longevity, if I got any compliments, you know, all the things. And um, yeah, I'll see you on the next video. Make sure you subscribe. If you're not, click the link. Make sure you hit the down arrow and click all so you'll be notified each and every time I do an upload, a post on the community tab, or whatever it is, okay? And I'll see you on the next video. Peace and blessings. Wait, shout out to you, JC. Thank you so much for sending these fragrances over to me. I appreciate you. He has some candles coming out. I've been begging him for candles for like three years now. Y'all, he has candles coming out. If they smell anything like this, <laughs> it's about to go down. Yeah, we'll get into that another day. Peace and blessings.